Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Wednesday where every Wednesday I post a new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing another gnome by request. So I was asked if I could do another gnome and this time he'll be on a platform and I'll be using this little wooden disc for to stand him on. So, um... What you're going to need for that project is you're going to need some faux fur. Um, this is the color I'm going with. I have also have white, but you could use whatever color you have on hand. You're going to need um, two different size styrofoam balls. The first one you're going to need, it comes in a two-pack like this, and they are 2.8 inches. So you're going to need one of these, and the other one is... Uh, this comes in a six pack. They come like this. And this is 1.4 inches. And you're also going to need a styrofoam cone. And they come in a two pack all at Walmart. And this is a 2.75 inches. And um, this is what it looks like. So that's what you're going to need. You're also going to need, um, I got a sleeve of a sock. Or of a shirt this is what I'm going to be using for my clothes I have a black sock that I cut we're going to be using this also you're going to be needing the little shoes from Dollar Tree you can find these in the um, baby shower favors you're going to be needing glue sticks a glue gun scissors exacto knife you're going to be needing white um felt in black you're going to be needing two wooden beads this is what I'm using uh, also brown felt if you decide to if you decide you want to use brown and I'm also going to be using aluminum foil and this is what I be this is what I use for my gnomes arms and legs sometimes it depends but yes so um that's what you're gonna need and I am gonna go ahead and turn my camera down so we can just get into the video Okay, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and um, do my shoe. We're going to go ahead and get the shoe done. So, um, what I and I've already done one shoe off camera, and this is what it looks like. So, now we'll go ahead and do the second one. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take some hot glue and you're going to put it at the base of your shoe. And we're just going to take our felt and we're just going to put that right up against there. Very careful that you don't burn yourself. And we're just going to go ahead and go around the shoe. Just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and go around the other shoe around the whole shoe so we're gonna go here I'm just gonna pull this as I go and then we're gonna grab this one and we're just gonna butt them together just like this and you're just gonna hold that here now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue right on the edge just like this and we're just going to go ahead and push this up just like that you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut off any extra I'm going to take some hot glue and we're just going to glue these two ends together very carefully that you don't burn your fingers
So now we have that. You're going to take some of your hot glue and you're going to put some right down in the bottom. And I have a several videos up already of me making the shoes because each time I do a gnome, I do the shoes on camera. So now that little opening that we have here, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue down in there. And we're just going to hold this and let that dry a little bit. Now, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue down off in the shoe. And we're just going to go ahead very carefully. I'm going to add a little more right here because it seems like it wants to come unstuck. So now we're just going to go ahead and you're going to bend down and push in. So, and now we're doing now is just sticking this tucking it down off in there so it should look something like this so now that we have that we're going to grab our black felt and we're just going to go ahead and cut off a thin strip And this is what we're cutting now is what we're going to wrap around the whole shoe. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Grab our shoe. Put a hot glue right on the end so right here grab your felt put that on the very end like this and we're just gonna hold that down and then we're just gonna continue to wrap around the shoe And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Just going to go around the shoe. There. Like this. And then I'm just going to hold this here. Put a little bit of glue. There. Hold this here. Let that dry. And then we're going to cut off the extra. Now we're going to take a piece and we're going to go to the back. And I'm going to stretch this a little. And we're just going to put this right here. Go up the shoe. So on a scene where that little scene is, we're just going to go ahead and grab some hot glue. Put that there. Going to put this here go up just like this and we're going to cut this off so this is what it looks like so far next we're going to take another piece of felt just cutting a little to a little strip going to go ahead Cut this like this. I'm going to move this. We're going to come right back and we're going to take this and we're just going to fold this over. We're going to cut it in half like that. Cut that off. So now we have two little pieces like this, and what we're just going to do is we're going to put those across the shoe. Move that. Put a little bit across here. We're going to stick that right here, just like that. 
I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down across the other one right here, here, and here. We're going to go ahead, take our other one, stick that right there. Now I'm going to grab another piece of that felt and I'm just going to go ahead and cut out a little circle. Making sure that it's even. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stick that on this side. So we're going to grab some hot glue, put a little bit here. And we're going to stick that like that. So now here's one and here's the other. So what I did was this one is I put a, a wood, a piece of stuck, uh, cardboard on the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. So we have our piece of cardboard. And what I did was I took some hot glue, put it right on the back of the shoe on the bottom of it and this cardboard is going to be used as this um, it's just put here I usually put that there for to have a something that I have a little more sturdy sturdiness to it so when I glue it down on its platform so now we're just gonna go ahead and Cut this out. And this is what we have. Here are our little shoes. Now we're going to set those to the side. So now um, what I did was I took my styrofoam ball and I cut it in half. And this is going to be used for the head. And I'm going to do the same thing with the nose. I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to go up very carefully, cut it in half because now I can do two gnomes out of this. So this is what we have cut in half. And then we're just going to use one half of that. Set that to the side. So what I did was with my my uh, styrofoam cone, I took my styrofoam cone and I'm going to bring it in a little bit and I cut it, I took it out of the pack and I took two wooden dowels and I stuck those all in there because I need this to be secured before I can move on to the next part. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your styrofoam out of the package, you're going to take two wooden dowels. And um, I cut my, mine were about three, four inches long, and I stuck mine right up in here and glued them in place so they won't move. And this is what you have once you do that. Now, the one thing that I like to do is the tippy part of this, this part here, I like to cut just a little bit of that off. Just take that tip part off, and you don't have to if you don't want to, that's just what I do. So now what we're, these are going to be obviously the legs. So let's move that out the way. So now what I'm going to do is that sock that I cut in half, I'm going to take it, turn it inside out, and then we're just going to go ahead and glue it close like this. So you're going to put a little bit of hot glue right down on the side and you want to get as close to the edge as possible. And then you're going to fold it over and then you're just going to let that dry completely before you try to put it on your nose. So once you got your sock all glued, you want to go ahead and turn it so it's inside, so it's right side, it's not facing inside out anymore. And here we have it. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and take my gnome, the, well, the body of my gnome, and I'm just going to go ahead and slide this up like this. 
So once you put one leg on, this is what it should look like. Then we're going to go ahead and just slide on the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. So now that we have our known pants on, it's time for us to take the sleeve of the shirt and just um, put that over it. So we're just going to go like this and we're just going to grab the shirt. Oops. See here. So now we're just going to go ahead and put the shirt down over it. And you can go as long or as short as you want. I like for my gnomes to have a long size, a long shirt. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm just going to take this part and tuck this under like this. So we have our shirt on over our gnome and um, so now what we're going to do is I am going to grab a little toothpick. So this is optional. You don't need a toothpick if you don't want to use one, but I like to just use one for just to give the head a little more something to hold on to. So what I do is I go ahead and stick this, I'm going to stick this in here like that and then I'm just going to stick this down on here just like this just to see about where I want it and I think I am going to take my knife and I'm just going to take a little more off there we go sometimes I play around with it just to see what I want to do So now I'm going to go ahead and glue my head into place. So I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue in here. And this is just to hold the toothpick in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach the head. So now that we have our head attached, I am going to go ahead and work on his nose. So we have the styrofoam ball that we cut in half and now I'm going to grab my brown felt and I'm just going to cut a little piece out of it and now we're just going to go ahead and put this I'm going to stretch it a little bit and we're just going to go ahead and glue this onto so I'm going to grab my Set that to the side. We're going to grab our little nose and I'm just going to go ahead and add some hot glue around and then we're just going to stick this in place. Yeah, like this. So we're just going to make sure this is the nose is all nice and covered. So once you get your nose all covered and felt, we're going to go ahead and attach it. So once again, add some hot glue to it, just like that. You're going to go ahead and pick where you want your nose to go. I'm going to put mine right here in the center. I'm just going to hold this here and let that dry. So now that once our nose is in place and dry, we can come to our faux fur that we have here. And I already took and cut out a little strip. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my knife and I'm just gonna cut out a little like a U shape in it so I'm just gonna hold it like this and I'm just gonna go over here to the other side and I'm just gonna I'm this is how I'm gonna do mine I'm just gonna cut here And then I'm just going to go over here, cut this way.
take that little piece out and you should end up with an opening like this so you're going to bring your gnome and you're just going to see about where you want this to be this is what it's looking like so far let's move this down a little And I think I'm going to do mine like that. So I'm just going to grab my hot glue. I'm just going to go around it. Just like this. Stick that here. Do the same thing to the other side. bring this in, stick this here, let that dry, now while that's drying I am going to go ahead and work on the hat and once again the hat was, is going to be made out of the same material that I use for the shirt so all I'm going to do is take the sleeve of the shirt and I am going to just cut it This is what we have and I'm just going to clean up my my ends a little bit just going to clean this up cut that off and I'm just going to do the same thing here just going to trim this up a little bit So I am going to turn this inside out just like this and I'm going to take the, I'm going to glue this in here, putting it right on the edge. Just like this. going to go ahead and finish doing this. Putting it right on the edge. And it does not have to be perfect because we're going to fix it anyway. So let's move this out the way. I'm going to go ahead and turn it out. So this is what we have. So we have a little hat here. So now I'm going to come bring my gnome back and I'm just going to go ahead and put this over like this. Pull this down. Where it's like this. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back up a little bit and I am going to just tuck this here like that so it's right on the end of the nose like this so since I want that to be right where it's at I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue right across and I'm just gonna hold that there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue here hold that down and once again over here so this is what we have so far now I'm just gonna hold that there and let that dry before I move to the back so this is what it looks like now I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm just gonna tuck this here And I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here just to secure that in place. So it's like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take this 
and I'm going to put it right here. Glue that down. Hold it. A, hold that a bit. And I am going to take these two ends here and glue them together. Hold it and let it dry. Once it's all dry, this is what you should have. There we have it. Now the next thing we're going to do is I am going to take my two pieces of foil and I am going to take more of that shirt that we talked about and I am just going to go ahead and cut two pieces out and these will be the arms. So now we're going to go ahead and wrap the foil. So I'm just going to put a little bit, let me use this in, I'm just going to put a little bit down like this. So put a little bit of hot glue down. That way your foil has something to stick to. And normally I would use the little uh, flexible curling, curling rods from Dollar Tree, but um, I can't really get out and go get any supplies right now because I broke my toe and I am on crutches. So, um, yeah, I can't really exactly get out and go shop like I want to at Dollar Tree. So sometimes I send my husband in for me and yeah, he does the best he could can, but, um, yeah, so I'll be on crutches for about three to four weeks or she said four to six. I say no, because as soon as I can put pressure on it and walk, I'm going to walk on it. So, yeah, and uh, it was just a little freak accident, I guess. I didn't even realize that I had broke it. Never once crossed my mind that it was broken. But, yep, it actually was. So, yeah, so now I'm, I'm, I'm down for, well, for a while, but, yep, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully I heal fast so yeah now that we have our arms all wrapped and the reason I go with foil because it's bendable just like the curling rods so yeah so if you don't have curling rods on hand you can always use aluminum foil because we're everyone pretty much has aluminum foil so yeah so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue right on the arm like this and I am going to go ahead and put this here hold it let that dry and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side put some hot glue on it And we're just going to go ahead and stick this right here, just like that. And I'm going to hold this here, let that dry. Now I'm going to take my brown wooden beads that we have here. And I'm just going to go ahead and... place these in. So what I'm going to do is put some hot glue right on here and we're just going to go ahead and stick this right in there. Hold that for a while to let that dry. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other one. A little bit of hot glue. Stick that in there just like that. Allow that to dry. Stick this down here like this. 
So I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue here and stick this shirt right down on top. Hold that there. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Put a little bit of hot glue. Take this. Hold this down here like that. And I'm just going to hold that here. Allow that to dry. And now the last thing we need to do is add our shoes. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to take hot glue and just squeeze that right down in that shoe. And I'm putting a good amount. And now we're just going to go ahead and stick this right down in here, just like this. And I'm just going to put the legs, the, the pants legs down over the shoe. Make sure the shoes are turned straight. And this is what it looks like so far. I'm just going to hold this here. and allow that to dry. So once you get the shoes on and they dry, you're going to go ahead and glue him to the platform, which is just a wood base. And um, this is what he looks like. I'm going to go ahead and um, slide back because he's a little too tall to get all in camera. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera up. And I'll hold him here. This is what he looks like. I'll complete it. So, yeah, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family. And, yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. Um, that really means a lot to me. And yeah, so I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.